Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Voyager PWM filter here on our 2020 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 3500. As most Mercedes-Benz Sprinters or Mercedes cabin chassis RVers know, there's an issue with the wiring coming from our cabin chassis up to our camera system, not allowing enough power for the actual camera to send the signal over to our monitor. So the fix for this is the Voyager PWM filter, which is going to send a steady current up to our camera so that we can always make sure that we have our signal. So the power coming through your vehicle's wiring is actually giving either a pulsing power to the camera or is just not providing a strong enough current as is. So that's where this comes in place. The power is going to ride into the actual filter right here and then build up a charge so that it can provide a steady output of 12 volts going to your camera. That way it'll actually function correctly. So as you can see, we're inside right now with our Furan monitor. We have power running to our cameras and to our monitor itself, but we're getting no signal. And that's going to any of our cameras at all. So we're gonna go ahead and install our PWM filter to solve this issue. All right, so back at our camera, I pulled out our wiring a little bit and noticed that we're just not gonna have enough to get through here. So I'm gonna actually pull off our third brake light back here for our RV. Because I know I got wire tucked up in behind here. All right, now with that loosened, we can pull our wiring out. And you can see from where it was installed, there's plenty of wire here because we're gonna need to be placing our filter in between our camera and our actual wiring running into our running light circuit. So what we're gonna do right now, with the power off, we're gonna snip both of these wires. I'm gonna pull them apart just a bit. Then from there, we're going to strip back our casing on both sides so that we can splice in our filter. So if you look at your PWM filter, you'll see a red wire and a black wire. And then there's also gonna be this little white collar that's gonna be on one side stating that it's gonna to go to the camera with these wires. The other side will be without that. And that's the side we're gonna have connecting up to our trailer with this side connecting up to our wires on our camera. Now we do wanna make sure that we're splicing into the right things, especially because we're, we have yellow and green wiring here. So if we look at this right here on our yellow wire, I can see it's connected up to our positives and our black wire right here is our negative connecting up to our green wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna splice my black to my green right here, because that is our negative wire. And then I'm gonna connect my yellow to my red. And we'll crimp that down. And then the same thing with our trailer side of our wiring. So our filter is actually quite big when it comes to wiring here so a lot of the times you're going to notice you don't have enough room to really get it punched into the hole so i've kind of worked my wires back here out of the way and i'm going to take this grinding bit and just kind of grind away some of the body of our rv here so that i can get this up inside so that it's all out of the way we're not going to have to worry about any water getting in and contacting it and ruining anything Like I said, we'll just keep trying to chip away at this and then test it out. We don't want to take too much off. But you will notice on most of your trailers, it is going to be a real tight fit. Oh, it looks like we got just enough there. So we can start pushing in the rest of our wiring. And 
And with that in place, we can go ahead and put our factory camera back up and then just re-caulk around it. The caulk on here kind of just split right off as I was pulling it off, so not really the best in water protection. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we get this nice and cleaned up. So under your camera, there's gonna be a little pairing button. I have to tilt it up just to get to it. Just a little rubber button. You have to press it kind of hard to get it paired up. So we're gonna sit there and hold that in place. Now with power running to our running light circuit, I'm gonna go ahead and start pairing our back camera. So as you can see, we are now paired and our rear camera is working thanks to our filter. Let's go ahead and check. Sometimes your cameras were kind of auto pair and you won't have to actually go through the whole pairing process. So let's make sure that our left and our right cameras are now working. So we can see out of our left and we can see out of our right. So we know all of our cameras are now functioning properly now that they're getting the correct amount of voltage to them thanks to the PDWM filter that we just installed. So Mercedes-Benz owners have been having another issue that's been the rear camera actually working but our side camera is not switching over whenever we use our turn signal. So this is gonna be another fix that our PWM filter is going to handle. So let me go through and show you exactly how to get to that because this is another question that we get regularly. So on the side of your monitor, you will find a button you can press to go to your settings. So let's set up. We wanna make sure that our LCD auto is off, which it is right now, so we can go back. Go back to our camera view, and if we double tap, this view all button is gonna pop up. We can click that, and it's gonna show us all camera views that we have. So right now, I'm gonna turn on our left turn signal, and you'll see that it'll switch over. And now we can go to our right. When I put it back, it's gonna go back to our main screen. And here's our right. So the issue before without the PWM filter is that it wasn't switching back and forth to our camera views. So let's go ahead and do a little test run. We're gonna take this up onto the road and show you exactly how it works. So as you can see, we're up on the highway now. We're on a two lane road. Seeing out of our mirrors isn't always the clearest. You may not see that car in your blind spot. So we're going to turn on our camera here. We're going to switch to that view. And now I can see there's nobody near us. I can safely get over because I'm going to have to make our left turn right up here. And the second that I turn off my turn signal, it goes right back to my view all mode so I can see all around me and behind me. That way I know if anybody's getting too close or if I need to slow down or anything like that. And we're going to use our left turn signal again to pull back into our parking lot. One other thing I wanted to mention is if you're having issues where your monitor keeps switching from your view all back to your rear camera, all you need to do is hit your button, go back to your settings, and then make sure that your auto display is also off as well. And since we only have three cameras, I'm also going to switch our view to tri view. If later on down the road our neighbor wanted to add in a fourth one, then I'd switch it back to that. This is just gonna give you a little bit better view of the camera angles just because the picture will be a little bit wider than a quad. Well, I think that does it for today's installation of the Voyager PWM filter here on our 2020 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 3500. My name's Kevin, thanks for watching.